Right, so today Daniel and Muhammad are set to reunite in person for the first time in almost three years. Can they be friends or will Daniel fall back in love with him and start the cycle of drama all over again? Let's find out. So it's now been two years since we last caught up with Danielle. Back then she had briefly messaged Muhammad about help getting a website up and running but nothing came of it. The pair then went another year without interacting again until eight months ago Muhammad started messaging Danielle out of the blue. We've been chit-chatting here and there. We have forgiven each other. So yeah, we're building a friendship. Honestly, what is the point? Last time they tried being friends, Danielle's jealousy led to another entire saga of her trying to get him deported, even though she had a boyfriend herself at the time. Why bother trying again as if the outcome is going to be any different? You might think she's probably moved on by now, but ever since she got stood up on that date with Nelson over two years ago, she hasn't been on another one. I've been single now for three years. I've tried to find love again, but rebounds don't work especially when you're still mourning because of your spouse. Rebounds also don't work, especially when you turn up to their house and they don't answer the door. Also, still calling things rebounds three years on from your divorce is crazy. It just shows how not over Muhammad she really is. If the fact that she called him her spouse rather than her ex-spouse didn't already give it away. Well, although she hasn't had any luck with rebounds since Nelson, Danielle has got some new people in her life. Through social media, she's become friends with three girls called Lexi, Lauren, and Michelle. And to help Danielle out of her romantic slump, they've organized a girls trip to Ocean Ocean City, which is a seaside resort town in Maryland. There's a lot of guys in Ocean City too. <laughs> a lot of guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't wait. Hyperventilating at the mere thought of it, this woman is down bad. It's actually crazy that she's acting like this as an adult. The last time I was this feral about the possibility of interacting with the opposite sex was getting ready for my year seven disco. Still, Danielle isn't getting too carried away and insists that she still isn't a floozy. Are you bringing lingerie? No, I'm not bringing lingerie. <laughs> I'm not blaming on having sex. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have so much fun. <laughs> These girls seem so different to Danielle. They're so much younger and act like complete opposites to her. I wonder if they genuinely like her or if they're just hanging out with her because of her fame. Either way, hopefully they can show her a good time and bring a side of her out that we haven't seen yet. Unfortunately though, the distraction couldn't come soon enough because with the trip just a week away, Danielle receives an unexpected text from Muhammad. He sent me a picture to show that he's in Ohio. <laughs> What is going on? Have we transported to a parallel universe? Why is Muhammad acting like Danielle and Danielle acting like Muhammad? I mean, he is working as a truck driver, so he was inevitably going to be in the same state as her at some point. But now he is. What possible reason could he have for wanting to tell her? There's a piece of me wants to see what he has to say. And by peace, she means 99.999% of her. We've seen that subtle smirk enough times to know when she's happy and getting exactly what she wants. And so unsurprisingly, she agrees to meet up with him. Next up, we're off to see how that goes. But first, a quick message from today's sponsor, HelloFresh. HelloFresh is a flexible subscription service. You simply pick a plan to match your lifestyle, get step-by-step -step recipes and all the ingredients you need, fresh and pre-portioned, delivered straight to your door. And then you just cook, eat and enjoy. It. I love HelloFresh because firstly, every week, I get to decide from a wide range of delicious options. So my diet is healthier and far more varied than it was back when I was cooking my favourite meal every other day. And secondly, when I used to shop to cook for myself, I'd often find that ingredients were sold in far bigger portions than I'd use for my meals. But with HelloFresh, they send me the exact right amount for each ingredient I need for every meal. So no food goes to waste and every ingredient is fresh. And if you're like Danielle and trying to be healthier, HelloFresh has a calorie smart range, which is a range of delicious meals under 650 calories to get you into and keep you in a healthy routine. Well, HelloFresh are very kindly offering 60% off your first box, plus 20% off the following two months, plus free gifts using the code ARTHURTV24. The link to that will be down below, or you can scan the QR code on screen that will take you straight to the offer. Thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring today's video. Now let's head off to meet Muhammad with Danielle. I am doing this for myself right now because I can't move on and find someone else until I get closure. That's the big thing. I want closure. 
To be honest, I don't really know what that means for her. The relationship ended and the court made a final decision granting them a divorce. What more closure could she ask for? If anything, all this messaging backwards and forwards and now arranging to meet up is the opposite of closure. It's just gonna reopen all the closed wounds. She needs to forget about him and move on. I've never really had him say, sorry, I did make mistakes. It was like he always blamed me for everything. Not really surprising, is it, given what we've seen? And I don't think he's meeting up with the intention of apologizing. I feel like she needs a therapist to be like, if you really want closure, you're gonna have to take responsibility for that yourself. Stop letting the fate of your peace lie in Muhammad's hands. She should forgive him regardless of whether or not he apologizes, not because she owes it to him, but because she owes it to herself to allow herself to move on. It's always in the back of my mind that he could be just talking to me to be nice in case he needs something. I just want him to apologize and admit he did wrong. I hope that's all she wants, even if I doubt she's gonna get it. Also, like her, I too wonder what exactly he wants from this. Apparently he's been pretty nice over the last eight months, but this is the first time that they're meeting in person. So Danielle is understandably suspicious that something is up, especially given Muhammad mentioned that he's due to have his green card interview soon. That's like the final piece of the puzzle because it is lonely. It does get lonely. And there's even days that I feel like I can't bear it. I actually can't believe that she's lived like this for three years now, just waiting to move on but never quite doing it. I don't know if this is the last piece of the puzzle though. Her being friends with Muhammad and getting an apology from him won't help her shake the feelings of loneliness she's been struggling with, because at the end of the day, she's still going home alone. Also, I worry that him apologizing and coming back into her life will only make it worse when he inevitably doesn't want the relationship that Danielle is evidently craving. Deep down, I will always care about Muhammad. Unsurprisingly, having him back in her life is hitting her pretty hard. The feelings are evidently still so raw, even after all this time. Given it took her so long to get over them, and how long she struggled with the sadness, anger and depression that came with the separation, she's absolutely terrified about the prospect of all the feelings she had for Muhammad rushing back, and having to get over losing him all over again. I just want someone to be there when I get home and hug me and tell me it's going to be okay, and that's all all anyone could ask for. I just hope she knows that that's never going to be Muhammad. I do wonder with how lonely she actually is, whether her feelings for Muhammad are more due to the fact that he was this person to her than due to who he actually is. Like, is she really missing him and their relationship specifically? Or is she just missing having someone and he's the person her brain associates with all these things? The scary part about going to see him is I don't know if I'm gonna have the anger side or the side that loved him. I mean, I'm guessing from Muhammad's side, preferably neither. I think he'll be expecting, perhaps slightly foolishly, a Danielle that's moved on. Why does she have to either be in love with him or be filled with anger, rage, and bitterness? That said, this might suck for Muhammad, but at least it's very entertaining for us. Anyway, after a long drive, Danielle finally arrives and Muhammad follows shortly after. What's up? Not that much. Finally. Oh, finally. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Muhammad doesn't want to be here at all, does he? If he doesn't need anything to do with immigration, he was 100% asked to be here by producers, wasn't he? On a side note, what do you make of Muhammad's new look? I feel like I'm watching an episode of Miami Vice. Anyway, unsurprisingly, Muhammad says that seeing Danielle after all this time is kind of weird. It brings a lot of like bad memories and stuff. I hope that she's not gonna start screaming and telling me why did you do this? Why did you do that? Because I, I'm, I'm over that. He was over that when he left her three years ago. With it still being a very real possibility with Danielle, why is he meeting up with her? What exactly is it that makes it worth the risk? Well, they begin the small talk and eventually Danielle gets around to saying that she wants an apology. In response, Muhammad basically says that he's a human being, that she hurt him too, and that she did a lot of bad things herself in the relationship. But he then follows all of that up by saying this. The way you say I left you in your lowest, I mean, I apologize that you felt like that. I never meant to do anything in purpose to hurt you. 
Saying he's sorry that she felt like that is not the same as him apologizing for his behavior, but it's not surprising that he responded like that. It's pretty clear that he feels that he has nothing to apologize for. To be honest, I think this is about as good as it's gonna get, so I think Danielle should just take it and run. The whole situation was super bad. Okay. Okay? Okay. That's it. I think that was a half-ass apology. He didn't apologize for what he did. It was very short and sweet, which adds to my growing suspicion that he doesn't want to be here. He said his piece, made his point, and I think that's it. Also, to be fair, I think that she was at her lowest because he left, rather than her being at her lowest and then him leaving. So the main thing she wanted him to apologise for was inevitable, no matter when or how he left. Well, regardless, the half-assed apology is there for the taking. But I'm happy even to get a half ass apology because before it's always been nothing at all but I still don't know why he wanted to meet up. It is bizarre. There isn't anything close to an obvious motive and Muhammad still hasn't said anything. He doesn't seem particularly happy to see her again. He's worried about her regressing back to her old angry self and he doesn't seem that bothered about rebuilding bridges. So again, why is he here? Well, satisfied with the apology and with curiosity burning deep inside her, Danielle finally straight up asks Muhammad why they're both here. I have nothing to gain from this, just saying hi and bye maybe we can be friends and don't even think in the future that i'm gonna need you for immigration okay, okay. it's between me and the government that's it interesting fair enough no ulterior motive though saying that still no motive he said why he's not here but he's not said why he is here other than just saying hi and bye but why does he care about saying hi and bye maybe this actually is indirectly what he wanted to tell her that he doesn't need her anymore and that she hasn't got any more power over him well whatever the reason may be with the past out of the way they begin speaking about the future and danielle seizes the opportunity to tell him about her upcoming trip to Ocean City. I'm actually going on a trip. It's a, a trip? Yes. A singles trip. Doesn't sound good. She cracks me up. This delusional little donut actually thinks that she's going to make him feel jealous by telling him all this. What was she expecting? For him to turn around and be like, wow, the thought of you being with other guys is making me jealous, so I'm realising I want you back now, let's get remarried. It's just so dumb. Well, unsurprisingly, he doesn't care, and to prevent her from elaborating any further, he ends the conversation there. Anyways, maybe soon we'll meet again and talk. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna leave this here and okay. let's go now. Nice of him to pay, but what a weird conversation to end on. She threw one final Hail Mary and he just swatted it away. I also wonder how long this conversation lasted. I know some stuff will have probably not made the final edit, but still, it felt so short. If their interactions are this dry, what is the point in them remaining friends? Weirdly though, even having sat through that entire awkward affair, Muhammad says privately to the cameras that he's open to continuing to see Danielle. Especially now, she's not like, the same person going after me, trying to force me into a relationship. So I think, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. This has to be the most underwhelming follow-up to the most boring conversation of his life. I mean, I think he's telling the truth. Like, she caused no issues, so he has no real problem with being in contact with her. But I just cannot imagine him making any effort to do that ever again. Also, in absolutely hilarious contrast to Muhammad's indifference, look at the state of Danielle. I wish that I could have seen that Muhammad when we were together. It's just so out of nowhere. How the hell did she arrive at that conclusion? They barely said a word to each other and there was absolutely no chemistry. How the hell could she possibly wish that their relationship had more interactions like this? Also, it is not a coincidence that the first time that he's calm and relaxed is when they're not in a relationship. I want to find happiness and someone to love me for me. <sighs> Maybe she actually is finally accepting the fact that that person isn't going to be Muhammad. Well, next up, she's going to be restarting her search and we're going to be following along as she goes on some pretty insane dates with other men. So if you don't want to miss out, make sure you're subscribed down below. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.